Hi friends, today in Usha's kitchen, I'm going to show how to make ground chicken or ground turkey keema dum biryani. Okay, to make this biryani, I'm using a ground turkey. Uh, you can use chicken or goat meat. Um, and this is approximately 1.7 LB. It's like 800 grams. And uh, for the powder, masala powder and I'm going to use six cloves, six cardamom, one star anise and three inches of cinnamon sticks, three bay leaves and one fourth cup of blackstone flour and half teaspoon nutmeg powder and one fourth cup cashew. So these things we are going to make a powder and uh, eight green chilies around 13 to 14 garlic and ginger half of the garlic size and 20 onion it is pearl onion and this one um, so while peeling the onion you can just cut it into half and uh, put it in a water so that you know it is easy to peel the skin and uh, one handful of coriander leaves and one handful of mint leaves and these things I'm going to just crush it uh, just blend it like you know a little bit and half of this one we are going to use it for garnishing and then I'm going to use seven tablespoon of peanut oil and four tablespoon of ghee and uh, one teaspoon coriander powder two teaspoon chili powder and one teaspoon turmeric powder and enough salt and uh, one cup yogurt and for all this I'm going to use three cups of jeeraga sambar rice and which is very tasty for making biryani and in this cup I'm going to measure um, it is around 500 grams so half kg and this one we are going to wash it one time and then soak it for 30 minutes while I'm cooking all this masala I'm going to soak it and then don't drain the water and we are going to use that water for cooking and uh, for this one approximately uh, you need for one cup jiraga sampa rice and it is two cups water now let's begin okay so this is the one the masala powder and um, this one is the onion ginger garlic and chili um, so this is not like a paste if you see that you know it is just crushed so i put it in the blender and i just put it in the pulse mode to make this, I'm going to use a non-stick pan and put it on the stove and keep it in the medium um, flame. And I'm going to add peanut oil, seven tablespoon peanut oil. And once it is warm, we are going to add two tablespoon ghee, and then we are going to fry the onion paste first. Okay. Now add only two tablespoon of ghee, and the remaining we are going to put it later. I'm going to fry only the onion paste and you have to fry it until completely the onion smell goes out. So now it is cooked for five minutes. Now I'm going to add this masala powder and then fry again. So maybe another five to ten minutes. Okay, now just add like half cup of water so that it won't stick and um, cook some more time okay now I'm going to add that meat so this one we cannot wash it because it is like almost like a paste and if you feel like it is more hygienic if you want you can just try washing it and then add this one and then we are going to add chili powder turmeric powder and coriander powder and salt and then we are going to cook okay, now add chili powder, turmeric powder and coriander powder and then add one teaspoon of kosher salt and once the turkey is cooked almost 75% then we are going to add water and rice ok now it is half cooked now I am going to add this yogurt and cook again ok now the meat is cooked well if you are using um, goat meat you cook more 
But this one took up approximately 20 minutes. Now I'm going to add the water. And then you add salt and you taste it for salt and spice in this time. And then you can add if you want more. And let it boil, then we are going to add the rice. Okay, now the water is boiling. Now I'm going to add the rice and cook until all the water absorbed by this rice. Okay. Now there is no water. So we are going to remove this one from the stove. And I'm going to put a cast iron and then keep it in high flame. Keep this one back on the pan. Just mix it. Close the lid. Okay, now close the vent. It has to be airtight. And cook it for three minutes in high flame and then low flame for seven minutes. Okay, now three minutes is done. I'm going to put the stove in complete low flame and uh, leave it for seven more okay. minutes. Now it is seven minutes done. Just switch it off and remove the water from this lid. And then, wow, it cooked so well. Just garnish with the coriander leaves and mint leaves. And then add the remaining two tablespoons of ghee. And then just close it again and let it sit for 20 minutes. Okay, now ground turkey or keema dum biryani is ready. Yes. Look at this. Okay, and immediately transfer this into a serving bowl. Okay, now I transfer it into a serving bowl, and it is really looks nice. And my son said it is very tasty. Okay, enjoy. Thanks for watching.